Oh, what to do, YouTubers and LBR wires and whatever platform that you're watching this on. Hopefully it's LBRY TV because we're trying to unplug and get away from the system. So anyways, I'm out here, Crash Boat Beach, Puerto Rico, Uno Mas. And um, one more time, I guess you could say. And I'm metal detecting today. Actually, I got up there on the pier and did a little bit of fishing. I grabbed a, uh, I did one, one throw of the casting net. I grabbed a good amount of bait. I went up there and the ocean has totally changed. I mean, you can't even see in the water uh, four or five feet deep. I mean, yesterday you could see 25 feet deep. Uh, big old full moon last night. I saw a big sea turtle. I was uploading the video from last night. Uh, and so I left the phone in the car, but man, I wish I would have had it because there was this humongous sea turtle and I was just like, gnarly dude, what's up dude, ride the wave, man. And so, awesome, awesome big turtle I saw this morning, sea turtle, epic, he was huge. Uh, so that was awesome. Now I'm out here metal detecting. I decided uh, I, I neglected metal detecting yesterday because we were on a fishing escapade. So, and if you missed the fishing escapade, please go watch yesterday's vlog. You won't want to miss it. It's probably about 40 minutes, but it's one of the better vlogs that I believe I've ever put out as far as uh, information on unplugging from the system and, you know, believing in yourself and uh, a little bit of fishing, a little bit of epic views and in, in, it just got a little bit of everything, you know? So, hey, before we go any further, I've been forgetting to do this on videos and I've noticed the likes are less a little bit and it's because I forget to remind people, so I apologize. But if you could please go ahead and drop a like, a comment, share this video, let people know there's this crazy guy in Puerto Rico that vlogs every day and you should probably watch him because he's entertaining. So I appreciate your all, all y'all's love and the support. Um, if you throw any LBRY my way, I appreciate that too. Uh, hopefully YouTube and LBRY can get back to integrating soon because I haven't been uploading there because the integration has been off. So anyways, please comment, like, share this video. I appreciate y'all's love and support. Let's get some metal detecting going. I got my first target here. I'll show you. All right, here we go. Right there, it's a 2021. 20, what do y'all think it's gonna be? Let's dig it up and see. All right, guys, there it is. That is a zinc penny. Worthless, but hey, metal detector picked it up. And we got our first target right away and our first find. And I actually, I believe I have multiple targets over here. And uh, I'm probably gonna dig up for the next hour or two. And if I find anything, or I'll show y'all probably about five or six targets, unless I find anything crazy, crazy sauce, then I gotta show you. But, uh. We're gonna metal detect here on Crash Boat Beach and try to see if we can't find any of these treasures that the pirates left 500 years ago. Arr! All right, guys, uh, pulled uh, several pull tabs and some bottle caps over there in the deeper sand area where everybody's traveling. So I decided to get over here towards the beach area where a little bit heavier stuff sticks. Got a pretty good signal here. Popping back and forth. But a real good 1819 right there. Let's dig it up. All right, guys. So this was ringing up pretty solid. And I'm really not sure what it is. I don't know. I'm going to go home and do a little bit of research, but... Could possibly be some kind of silver or just aluminum garbage. I don't know. What does it say on there though. I'm not sure what that says. Really interesting find, guys. I 
I could have come across something really cool right here or just trash. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I don't know if this is something valuable or if it is trash. That's the cool thing about hunting for treasure. We shall see, huh? All right, guys, check it out. We met some friends down here at the uh, beach. And they've known me from the vlogs and they brought us some fresh fruits and some goodies and i just want to say thank y'all so much You're and welcome. uh this is gonna be nice we got what did you call these again the so canepas canepas they're uh, very big okay. here and so yeah i've seen people sell those on the side of the road and we've always been like mm, what is that is that a small <laughs> lime but uh so yeah we got some goodies here and yeah just another good thing to happen in the day and the life and times of quarry man x we appreciate y'all holler yo do I got powder on my face? These donuts you gave me were so, are, are so good. I know you said they might be for the kids, but I was really hungry. And I'm eating them as I'm driving out of Crash Boat, just so you know. But I'm saving the other ones for the kids. I really appreciate you meeting me out at Crash Boat. Um, I already forgot gentleman's name that you were with. Bye. Thank you so much for the donuts. Thank you for meeting up with me. Two very kind souls, great people. I'm sorry that you have to go back to the States, but I'm glad you came to Puerto Rico to visit. And I'm glad that you're my friend. And if you ever need anything, don't hesitate. Reach out to me, call me. Anything you need, sister, I'm here for you. I appreciate the fruits and the donuts and the love. What's going on, guys? Got the kids with me. And we are here at, well, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a laundry mat. And I'm gonna, what are we at? Leo Dry Cleaners and Laundry. I'm here in Aguadilla and I gotta do a I gotta do a load of laundry. Clothes started smelling like beach and water, you know how that goes. So we're here at the laundry mat and we're gonna get a little bit of I'm gonna drop this load off real quick and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some groceries. Leo's laundry mat. Alright, we're supporting the local select orders. And we're gonna get some some food up and put it in our refrigerator. Let's do it. All right, guys, we hit the grocery store. We got some groceries. Now we're headed back to the laundry mat to pick up our laundry. Go back to the house, make some lunch. Check in on the, uh, on the real world, see what's going on in the stocks and the market, and maybe put a little work time in, make some money here. Uh, who knows what else we're going to end up getting into today. But I'll make sure to keep you guys posted. What's going on, everybody? Hey, I'm doing some work here at the house. Um, I'm moving out here to the island and sand. You know, we go into the beach so often. We got sand everywhere. Sand's coming in our house. It's getting in my ass. It's in my bed and I'm sleeping with it. No, but really, like the sand's getting everywhere. So what we're gonna try to do is we have a new saying around here. We're gonna leave the sand at the beach. So leave the sand at the beach because that's where the sand belongs. But uh, we had sand all up and down our little staircase here. And so we didn't have a broom. You know, we broke living paycheck to paycheck, investment to investment month to month whatever you want to call it man we just normal you know so i went and got a chivo broom we hadn't had one in a long time so went out and got that and well i'm getting these stairs all cleaned off and i'll let you guys maybe i'll record a little bit finishing up here let you guys take a peek at what i'm doing <laughs> Maybe it's not going to be so good.
But yeah, we're gonna make sure that when we go to the beach from now on, we're gonna bring a jug of water with us. That way, right before we get off into the car, we rinse ourselves off. And we're gonna leave a jug of water down here on the stairs too. So we don't want any sand up here. Sand is cool, but at the beach only, man. Anyway, now I'm going to do some squeegee. I'm going to squeegee and I'm going to squeegee all the water off here. We'll have a brand new balcony here at the home. Just doing chores. Rottweiler is a real dog, right? Yes, Rottweiler is a real dog. All right, guys, we're in the car and we've just, uh, well, we did a bunch of cleaning earlier. Got the upstairs situated, did some homeschooling, did some chilling. Uh, now we're getting the itch to go back out. Wife's been doing a bunch of work all day up in her little office and she's ready to get out. So we're gonna get back out. We got uh, cloudy skies looking for a chance of rain. We got some kind of tropical disturbance whipping about 200 miles north of us and it's whipping these outer bands back at us. And we don't mind, it's gonna make for some good metal detecting weather. A little bit of cloud coverage. And hopefully I dig out some more goodies um, and I'm still trying to get feedback on that little piece of silver Hong Kong that I found. I don't know if it's junk or if it's a uh, keeper. Um, either way, it's a keeper. I guess it's kind of cool that I've got something that says Hong Kong on it. But we're headed back to the beach to metal detect. I will keep you guys posted on a couple uh, finds that I grab, and especially if it's any big ones like Spanish silver. That's what I'm after. Give me the Spanish silver. Let's go. All right, made it to the beach. We're back at surf, or uh, crash boat, crash boat beach. Got a little rain coming in. My headphones aren't waterproof, so I stepped out for just a minute. Yeah. And it looks like it's starting to lighten up, hopefully. We can get a little bit of metal detecting time in. We shall see. All right, guys, I'm uh, metal detecting down here at crash boat beach. And I must say, I've been metal detecting for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And I've found absolutely nothing besides pull tabs and bottle caps. I probably dig uh, maybe 12 to 15 holes, and that's all I've found. Not even a penny. Um, out of all my searches so far, this is, this is my least friendliest one as far as good finds, so... We're gonna keep going. Uh, one thing I did wanna mention is, you know, beaches are supposed to be closed and stuff. I guess behind me it's not busy, but we got people coming up here. Definitely people swimming and just chilling, relaxing on the beach and basically putting their middle fingers up to the governor and her executive order. And I like that. So hats off to the people who keep going out to the beach and putting their middle fingers up to the governor here in Puerto Rico. Uh, he's a tyrant. And yeah, tyrants all deserve to be put on their own little island and maybe a big hurricane hit it or something eventually. I don't know. But anyways, back here on this island, we're going to find some gold. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm finito on the metal detecting. And I've got under the little seating area over here to kind of get out of the rain. Man, it's been a long day. Excuse me for yawning in front of you guys. How rude of me. I hope nobody, hope that didn't make anybody else yawn. So, I'm done metal detecting. And I must say, I found, after all the pull tabs and stuff that I went through, ended up finding a uh, tent picket stake and a button and then just some other piece of aluminum trash and then a, a full Coke can, but... Anyways, dispersed of all the trash, threw all the trash away, you know. Uh, we don't, we may not find silver, gold, or any kind of interesting, cool, keeping, collectible treasures, but at least we're cleaning the beach, we get out, uh, we get a peace of mind, it's, it relaxes, you know, relax, relaxing. 
almost yawned again. I didn't want y'all to see that. I woke up at 4.45 this morning to come out here. But anyways, uh, kids are out in the water and in the rain and enjoying themselves. And I don't know where the missus went. Somewhere. But uh, I was having fun metal detecting. I'm going to go out here on the, the pier and I'm going to let you guys take a peek at maybe what some of the locals are doing out here. Swimming in the rain, jumping off this uh, pier and fishing. Let's go do it. We got this storm coming in behind us. Kids left their snorkel gear right here. Yep. Let's see what they're doing. People swimming, playing, having fun. How's the water feel? People, it's raining. People out here just in the water, chilling. Crash Boat Beach. Middle fingers in the air to the governor. Ain't nobody listening to your executive orders. Y'all jumping? You jumping? Yeah, I did. You jumping? You did? Okay. <laughs> you going again? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Having fun, Governor. Nobody gives a damn about your executive orders. So I'm talking about rain, fishing, snorkeling. Puerto Rico, crash boat, beach, raining. Island life, baby. Come get you some. This isn't everybody's reach. No way, I know. <laughs> the pressure's on now. That's all right, just make sure you push back. You'll be good. Oh, puta que pareo. The cussing on the way down was classic. I got nervous, man. What block do you do, by the way? What's that? What's your block name? Cory Man X with a K. Cory Man X? Yeah. Okay. You dive in? Oh, cheesy, hermosa. Playa, playa de crash boat. It's muy cheesy, hermosa. See. Ain't it beautiful? Drop a comment below and let me know if you think this is beautiful. What do you guys think? Beautiful? All right, what are y'all doing? Y'all about to jump off the cliff? 
You're gonna give Mimi a heart attack. All right, do it. <laughs> Jumping off the pier at Crash Boat. Playa de Crash Boat. Good swimmers, like fish. We've raised good swimmers. And they're gonna swim all the way back by themselves. That's what they do. Relaxed, calm, cool, collective. The uh, current is really not bad at all over here in a crash boat. I'm sure it can pick up every once in a while, but today it is real calm, cool, and collective. Over in Vega Baja, it was a different story. They don't, they don't, current don't play games out there. It'll wipe you up and spit you out. Over here, I mean, it's still, you, you still gotta be on your toes, but it's a lot better. Awesome stuff. Out here at Crash Boat Beach. I love this place, man. Just got off the phone with a friend of mine in Texas who is gonna make the move out here to Puerto Rico to be more free. Hats off to you, Mudcat, for taking the big step in the right direction to grasp more freedom in your lifetime and unplug from the system. So he'll be out here in a month or two uh, and he's looking for a roommate. So if anybody wants to travel out here and hook up with a roommate, and sh uh, share uh, a house or an apartment and save some some money. He's, he's looking to do that. San Sebastian, Lateris area, somewhere where all of our uh, freedom lovers are traveling. So, uh, man, we got George from Buffalo coming. We got Mudcat coming. I just met um, Addie, I think her name is. God, please forgive me if I got that wrong. But anyway, she came out here. She's uh, hopefully coming back to move. Um, meeting all kinds of good new people here on the island. People who have been here before and coming back. People who have never been here before and are moving here for this, this cause of freedom to, to unplug from the system and self-provide. So big things going on, big things going on. It excites me. Now I have to go home and I got some homework to do. Uh, literally a lot of people have been contacting me in the last 10 to 14 days about visiting information about coming out here and I love it I love being a resource for people to get real information from because you, you can't trust social media and mainstream news anymore you get some info I've literally had people call me or text me email me and say hey Corey what, what's the deal out there is this really the gist of what's going on because I know you're gonna give it to me real and usually when people say stuff like that it's totally opposite from what is real so if you want to know what's going on here in Puerto Rico and you want the unpolitically correct uh, view on it, just let me know because I'm going to give it to you straight. You know me. I don't beat around the bush. So uh, we're out here. We're having some fun. Who knows? The vlog is probably coming to an end soon unless something cool, crazy happens. And that's usually probably going to occur because we live on an island. And I say that to myself every day. I, I live on an island. I live on a tropical island which has mountains and treasures and good access to self-providing. I love this island. Puerto Rico. All right, fam, we are here whipping it up. I got chicken, vegetables, mango, fruit. We're whipping and dipping in the kitchen, getting it ready for tonight. I went in on that V chain call. Did y'all get that on the Patreon? See? Okay, well, today's vlog may be over. It may not be over with. I don't know. But we're gonna get our grub on. And if you don't see any more video, I'll see you tomorrow.